Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. Uh, just got a PSA submission back. I thought I'd share with you guys. Unfortunately, my uh, I used to have a 40 inch TV above my backdrop where I record and that TV just went out a couple days ago. So hopefully I can keep these in focus on the tiny little like four by two inch uh, screen that's on this camera. Uh, there is all four major sports in this. Uh, this was a ultra modern order. I think there was 25 cards altogether. Uh, about 14 months door to door. So this was submitted, I believe, December 30th of 2020. And uh, here I am getting it back. I got it back a couple days ago. So just about 14 months. But start with some baseball. Fernando Tatis, the Allen and Genter in a 10. Uh, I was really excited to get this order back. Uh, main reason I got a couple Burrow rookies in here that perfect timing to get back. Uh, but anyways, got a Tatis. Uh, another Tatis, the Tops update. Got a 10 on that. Did fairly well on this order. Uh, I did get some nines on some cards I was a little disappointed on. This is the only eight and I really don't know what they got me on. It had to have been a surface issue because looked this card over pretty well when I got it back and just can't figure it out. So it has to be something you can't see through the slab. The Tatis. Uh, one more baseball card, I believe. I don't prospect too much, but uh, this was pack pulled out of a mega box. This kid's got a bright future looking at his stats. I thought it was worth submitting because it's the purple refractor out of, uh, I believe, I don't think the camera will pick it up, out of 250. Uh, I had this down on my sheet as a nine. You can tell that uh, that left side's a lot thicker than the right side and even the top to bottom's off. But other than that, the card was flawless. Only problem with him is uh, he's a shortstop, so with Bo Bichette, you know, in the depth charts, even if he makes it up to the majors, he's got a uphill battle. Uh, a few basketball cards. Kind of regret sending these in, but again, 14 months ago, the market was a lot different. Got a LeBron, Will to Win, PSA 10. Uh, I'll probably edit graphics in it like I try to always do. But I can't imagine this is more than like a $20, $25 card nowadays. It's probably a lot more when I submitted it, but oh well. Again, that's why I don't generally, I stay away from ultra modern basketball just because the, the market can shift so much. And the only other basketball card was this uh, Cole Anthony Green Prism PSA 9. I t These were $15 a card, I should have mentioned uh, before they shut down bulk orders. I have to imagine that's about what this card's worth. Probably about 20 bucks, maybe. But those are the only two basketball cards. Uh, I do got a couple hockey cards. Uh, Alexander Texia. And I apologize to any hockey fans out there. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. But I got a PSA 10 on his Young Guns. And then got one more Young Guns. This one, I I am not too sure how to pronounce. It's very, I think I looked, I've heard it on, you know, a hockey announcer saying it, but uh, it is nothing the way it's spelt. <laughs> like a lot of these uh, French, Canadian, and Europe, Eastern European names we see in the NHL. I think it's uh, Isla Mikheyoff or something, but it's like real, the last name is real silent. It doesn't look anything like how it's spelt. <laughs> Well, I got a 9 on that. I think that first card, thats I want to say that's like a $40, $50 card in a 10. Uh, if you watched my last uh, order I got back, getting back to the grading uh, ser uh, low serial numbered cards of uh, future Hall of Famers like Brady, Breeze. Uh, here's another one that it was too new to be in the cutoff for the last order, so I had to submit it with the Ultra Modern. This is the Donruss Elite Purple out of 99. Love the shine on that card. Got a 9 on that. 
All right, so the Burrows, great timing to get these back. His cards have really shot up. Nothing special in this order, but still, the timing's just perfect. I'm so glad I had uh, submitted these. That's just the absolute base. That was the one good thing, you know. I mean, it's never good a player gets injured, but it's funny. In 2020, I was buying a lot of uh, Herbert when Burrow was getting a lot of hype. And then when Burrow got injured, I waited till his cards cooled off and started buying him up. So I, I've seen these go for anywhere from like 150 to 250 on eBay right now. So that'd be good timing. I can't see a retail base rookie, you know, going up much more than right now. Uh, this is the one with Ohio State, his score rookie. He's got also has the other one with the LSU. Got a PSA 10 on that as well. And I got one more. Not the one you want to get a 9 on, but oh well. Still make, still make my money back on that one. I don't really collect Burrow. I have a few cards of him I'm holding long term. I guess you could call PC cards, but... I don't know. Interested to see what you guys think. I'm kind of going back and forth. I, I've always thought Matthew Stafford has been so underrated uh, in Detroit over the years. Outside of uh, Detroit fans and fantasy football players, uh, I don't think the general public realizes how good of a quarterback he is. So I've been debating, do I want to see Burrow and the Bengals? They're kind of got a great story coming in. Or do I want to see Stafford get his first ring? Uh, this is the Camo Pink PSA 10. I believe I submitted three of these parallels. I generally stay away from submitting ultra modern base cards, but uh, I just thought those burrows looked really clean and they were worth it. But I think everything here on out is probably a parallel of some type. So you got the Camo Pink uh, Herbert and the 10. I believe I got two more Herberts. Uh, Man, this would have been a nice one to get in a 10, the way gold cards have taken off. Anything with gold in the title is just insane. That is the Reactive Gold Parallel PSA 9. And one more. This is actually one of my favorite. I actually like these more than the silver. But it is the Mosaic Parallel. Great looking card. Haven't really had much time to look these over. I believe a couple of these had a... Yeah, I don't think the camera will pick it up. But I think they had printer lines on the back. I just wasn't sure how hard they were going to grade it. Generally, in, in general, from my experience, PSA will often overlook stuff on the back a lot more than they will on the front. So if those had those printer lines on the, the front of the cards, I would have never submitted them. But Oh, well, 210... I mean, excuse me, 110 and two nines. Those are... Again, getting back to not submitting base, but submitting parallels. Those were base nines, you know, they wouldn't be worth a fraction of what the parallel nines go for. Got a couple of Brady's. Again, another one of the mosaic parallels. Really love this one. Great looking shine. Fortunately, I think a lot of nines I got on the two Brady's and two Mahomes I submitted. Be interested to see what his cards do now that he's retired. At least, I mean, we all know his cards are only going up the higher end and the rookies and whatnot, but be interested to see just like a random 2020 card like this would go for if it's going to flatline, see what the population reports do in the long term. But then again, with PSA's backlog, uh, getting to the end of it, I can't see the pop reports going up too much on cards like this. People definitely be uh, definitely be submitting them still, but nothing like the boom of 2021. We got a Mahomes camo pink, another PSA nine, and I believe I got one more Mahomes, the Will to Win mosaic parallel. You notice that's a theme. <laughs> really like the mosaic parallels. So almost like a diamond pattern, but not quite. But got a nine on that one as well. 
This is one of the few cards I was disappointed on. Uh, that is Mere Gold out of 25. Quit Nelson. And this card I had down as a 9+. Plus and... I don't know, it's hard without my monitor now. I can't really look at these too much, but it's weird. You look at that centering left to right, it's like perfect. But then down here, somehow the nameplate's way off. You see how much thicker it is on the right side? That's why I had a feeling this was going to be a 9, but I don't know. I was hoping maybe get an outside shot at a 10. Again, this will be a PC card, long-term hold. Uh... Been looking for a lot of his low serial numbered stuff. Just picked up an auto actually recently. Uh, I just, I think O linemen are just so they're they're just looked over in their playing career, and it isn't until, especially a guy like this. I think he's already like a three. I have to look up last year's stats, but I know he made it All Pro the first two years he was in the league. So. A guy like this, it's not till ten years down the road, and he, you know he compiles. Seven, eight All Pro appearances and Pro Bowls and whatnot that people finally start to catch on to him. This is a, another PC card, Josh Allen of uh, the Jaguars, not Buffalo. This was the other one I was kind of disappointed in. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to close the window. Uh, the room I record in, neighbor's dog started barking. But this is the Spectrum Red out of 75. Really big on this guy. Um, the Jaguars don't turn it around in the next couple years. I can't wait to see uh, when this guy hits uh, free agency and see where he goes. Hopefully he goes to a bigger market team. Kid's an absolute stud. Um, I remember saying on Twitter the night of the draft that this, this guy will definitely... I would take him over Nick Bosa just because of the injury history. And, you know, Bosa put together a solid season, but again, he's missed like half of his career almost already because of injury. So this guy's just quietly racking up sacks in Jacksonville. I believe he was sixth overall pick or something, seventh overall that year. Something like that with the Jaguars. And then this, this is one of the only... Like I said, there's like three cards total I was kind of disappointed in. Tyler Johnson, Genesis. This would have been a nice one to get a 10 in. Unfortunately, Brady retiring. I think that's going to be the end of the road. <laughs> uh, when Henry Ruggs, uh, Jerry Judy, and CeeDee Lamb were getting all the attention that year as the top receivers. I had Justin Jefferson, and this guy's kind of like my sleeper picks coming out. And It's unfortunate, you know, Godwin... Antonio Brown, Mike Evans, Rob Gronkowski, when you have that much talent above you on the, the depth chart. Uh, this guy really hasn't, really didn't get his reps with Brady, which I was hoping he would, but still, this is a PC card. I'll hold on to that for a long time, unless for some reason he goes off. Uh, three cards left. Got the DK Metcalf. That is just the absolute rookie. Got a nine on that. It's unfortunate because the next one I wish I would have got the nine on and got the ten on the Metcalf, but oh well. AJ Brown, a very underrated wide receiver. I'll be interested to see what the Titans are doing in the offseason if they uh, make a move for someone or if they stick to Ryan Tannehill. But, you know, in a run first type offense that uh, Tennessee has this guy is just I think a couple years from now people are going to realize how good this guy is probably work his way up to a top five receiver in the NFL it wouldn't surprise me but got the AJ Brown PSA 10 and then the last one uh, Josh Jacobs another guy I think is really underrated I am excited for this card um, I'm mainly excited I'm interested to see what Josh McDaniels does being an offensive minded coach. You know, I think John Gruden's just kind of, I don't know, he's kind of old school, caught in the past. I'd be interested to see what the Raiders do in general next year with him at, uh, as the head coach. But Josh Jacobs, PSA 10. So that was it. 25 cards altogether. 
be interested to hear uh, what some of your favorite cards were in the order. Uh, for me, I'd have to say... Yeah, that's a tough one. PC-wise, uh, I don't have the Tatis Tops Jenner, so that's a nice one. Even though I was disappointed with the grade, I still think the Josh Allen Auto and the Tyler Johnson Genesis and that Quentin Nelson... The mirror gold, that's got to be my favorites. Of course, love, like I said, I love the mosaic parallels, but these are just the type of cards no one's no one's going to be grading until five, ten years down the road when they realize, oh, this guy's a first ballot Hall of Famer. But anyway, sorry, keep rambling on. Oh, I won't keep you guys. Appreciate everyone that uh, joined me today. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.